Hi guys, welcome to another video. I have been told many a time over the years and in my real life and on YouTube that I shouldn't be wearing this, that I am too old for that, that I'm too big for that, that that doesn't suit me, that my body frame is such that blah, blah, blah. And I've, I've also heard people tell others that they are too small for something or they are too young to pull something off. And I'm here to tell you that there are no rules. Let me explain, let's get going. So I'm going to caveat some of this by saying, of course, of course, we are all different shapes and sizes and certain, certain things do possibly suit certain people and certain body frames differently. That is absolute fact, but what those are is very subjective. So you may think that certain thing suits a certain body shape. Another person may not. They may think the opposite. So because this is all subjective and we've all got our opinions on what is flattering and what suits a certain person or certain body shape, it, you have to be very, very careful. So for me, it's about how the person feels inside. So if you ask me what I think suits me, I have an opinion on certain things that I think do suit me better than others. Of course they do, but they are how I feel in those things. So somebody else might look at me in an outfit and think, oh my God, she looks horrendous. I might feel great. And if I feel great, I should rock it. If they think I look amazing and I feel really uncomfortable in the item, then it's not for me. It doesn't matter if a hundred people think that it looks amazing. It's how you feel because I've been there many, many times where I've dressed accordingly to what I think I should be wearing. And I just feel, I feel huge and I feel just really, really uncomfortable. And yeah, it shows. When you feel great in something, and yes, I know a lot of us don't always feel great in anything. We all have, our, I suppose, our demons. But what I would say is when I feel the, at the most comfortable, it shows, it shows in your, in your skin, your smile, your eyes light up. You can see if, if a friend's trying something on in a changing room and you're with them, as soon as they put something on, their demeanor changes, they, their posture, their eyes sparkle, their skin, everything looks bright and they just, oh, you can tell they're loving it. And that therefore is the one. It doesn't matter if you love it or hate it. It doesn't matter if you think it suits or doesn't suit. You should be looking at what your friend feels about it. So if anybody asks me an opinion of which one do you think, I always ask, how do you feel? How do you feel? Because that is the one. That is the one and it's as simple as that for me. So we've talked about this a few times on my channel, but I wanted to talk about this again because I mentioned in one of my videos about, I called it being fat shamed and whether it was being fat shamed or whether the, the sales associate was just, his delivery was poor, we can debate all day long. At the end of the day, he told me that a certain bag didn't suit my body frame because I'm not petite, that I'm quite big. That is what he told me. And when I've shared that on my channel, I've I've had really positive um, comments coming back and saying you can wear what you want and it looked nice and all of those things. I've also been told that I am just in denial and actually he was just telling me the truth. And I'm sorry, but it does not matter how big I am or how tall I am, what my body shape is. If I want to wear a mini bag, why shouldn't I be able to wear one? Maybe I don't want a big bag. Maybe I like the style of the smaller bag. Maybe I only want to carry a couple of things. Maybe I just like it. Who cares? Who is anyone to tell anybody else? If they are maybe a different body shape to me and they are much smaller in stature than me, that they can't wear a big bag because it overpowers them. They can do what they like. Maybe they've got lots of things to carry. Maybe they like their oversized look. Who cares? All, it, all, it, all that matters is that that person or myself, whoever we're talking about, feels comfortable and happy with their purchase. That is all this is about. It's not up to anybody else to decide who can and can't do something. Ah. If I feel good, then that's the answer, isn't it? Does that mean that somebody of my body shape and size 
is restricted in what they can buy. So all the mini bags, anything under maybe, shall we say 20 centimetres as a bag that is off limits to me because of my body shape and I've got to lose weight in order to buy a mini bag. Or, you know, there are no rules. It's just, it's just crazy, isn't it? And yes, certain things do suit certain people, but it's for that person to decide that. Not for you guys, not for me, not for anybody else. I've also been told that uh, women of a certain age should not have long hair. Now I did a video a while ago and actually found it and it's a terrible video, but I will link it because it's part of my story, it's part of my journey. And I did talk about this and yeah, I had short hair then. <laughs> I had short hair, I had short hair for quite a while. And in that video I said, I'm actually growing my hair. And actually <laughs> we've now got, I think it's a year and a bit later, I've now got, it's not really long hair, but I've got much longer hair than I had before. So I don't know. I don't know what anybody thinks. I don't really care. <laughs> I like, I, I'm really liking my hair long. And yes, I am 53 in about two weeks time. So does that mean that I've got to cut my hair or can I continue growing it? What are the, what's the rules on long hair? It's just crazy, isn't it? When you put it like that, for somebody to tell you that when you're in your 50s, you shouldn't have long hair. I want to see the rule book. I really want to see the rule book. I've also been told um, in some comments um, two things that I just find, I'm, I'm giggling because I just find them really amusing. The first one was that somebody of my body shape sh shouldn't wear high stiletto heels because it shows it's like too much of a juxtaposition <laughs> of my size with the dainty heel. And then it just makes my, I assume what they were meaning was it just makes me look really heavy on top of them. And that just there, that really made me giggle because I love, I love a stiletto shoe. I wish I could wear them all the time because they're just crippling, aren't they? But the, the look of them, I just think they really finish off an outfit. And to me, choose a shoe. Yes, go for comfort. I'm all for going for comfort, but you know, choose something that really finishes off the outfit. Have fun with it. There are no rules as to somebody can wear this and somebody else shouldn't wear that. Wear what you love and what you think goes well with that outfit. That was a, a funny one. I just thought of another one as well. I've got another two to tell you. So I was told I was too old to wear leather leggings. I love a leather legging and I'm sorry, but I don't care how old I am. I actually find them really really comfortable. I think they're a really nice outfit for an evening out. Leather leggings and a blazer and a really beautiful bag, a pair of stilettos. <laughs> Off we go. I feel, I've never, and I've talked about this before, it's very rare that I feel amazing in any clothes and I think we've all suffer sometimes or a lot of us suffer with, you know, that just that being body conscious. But the reason we're conscious is because we get told all the time that we shouldn't be doing something or we should be doing something and we feel judged. So whenever we try something, even if we feel quite nice in it and feel like, oh, I feel like this looks okay, there's always somebody there to bring you down. Well, not anymore. You wear what you love. And as I say, it will show. If you feel good, it will show in every other aspect of your life, I promise you. I was also told that it was a shame that I had more money than taste. <laughs> And I thought, again, it just makes me really giggle because I don't understand what bad taste is. If somebody says, oh, they've got really bad taste, well, it's not bad. And who says yours is good? It's just different to yours, maybe. And I'm all for everybody. Everyone can have opinions. Everybody can have opinions. But be respectful with those opinions. So if somebody asks for your opinion and you don't like the answer, that's absolutely fine. You can let them have their, their opinion. In, in effect, you don't have to take their advice, but you can be kind with your opinion. You can be constructive with it. You can have a decent delivery with it in order to maybe help somebody who doesn't know how to put an outfit together and is asking for some help, obviously, the help should be there and the opinions can be given, but it's just, just be respectful. And don't tell somebody they've got bad taste. They've just got taste that's different to yours. And surely that's how the world should be, isn't it? Isn't it?
So if there is a, a mini bag or a nano bag or a micro bag that I love, I will be buying it. It's very, very unlikely that I will buy a nano bag, but that is because I won't be able to put my phone in it. It's not because I think it doesn't suit my body. I think that I can actually wear whatever I want to wear. I can wear a nano bag if I want to. So I am not going to restrict myself. And I know that certain things will suit me better, but that's my opinion. So you may hear me say on my videos that, oh, I think this is really flattering or this suits me. And I think my body shape does suit this. That isn't me being contradictory. That is me saying that's my opinion on what does suit me. Knowing what my body shape is and learning how to maybe dress my size and so just deal with my own body shape so for me it's all about understanding yourself and having fun with it at the end of the day all of this is about fun isn't it we're talking about bags shoes accessories playing with outfits having a look at different colors different styles different textures different fabrics it's all about playing with it and just having some fun putting an outfit together and then putting a bag with it and thinking, oh, that looks better than that. Of course, we can have an opinion as to what looks better, but that's our opinion on what we feel. So yeah, my advice to everybody is, if somebody does ask you your opinion, then maybe just ask them, maybe just try this, maybe ask them, oh, how do you feel in that one? because it is about the feel and then you are helping that person to formulate in their brain what they're liking and not liking. And as I say, just have fun with it. If you want to wear something tiny with something really oversized, if you're a smaller body shape to mine and you want to rock a massive bag, absolutely do it. I think it's amazing. I think we all can do whatever we want. So let's not restrict ourselves. Let's not make any rules that we then can't be broken. Just have fun with it. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to be less conscious about the, the aesthetic and more conscious about the feel, if that makes sense. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. I am sure there will be some comments um, down below, but as always, have your opinion, but stay positive and stay respectful. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I will see you on another one.